this the uh, Ken Bell taping? Yes, it right is. There? Yes, it is. All right. Ken Bell. Ken Bell. How many years did he have in the jury? 35. 35. Ken brings compassion, kindness to every situation, and that's something to which we should all aspire. One day, uh, the doorbell rang, and it was flowers from Ken Bell. He didn't even know why I was homesick yet, because I hadn't told everyone I was pregnant, but he knew I'd been out of work for weeks, and he sent flowers to my house, and just the sweetest note. Uh, you and your character have brushed off on all of us. We are all better people, not just better informed on sports, but we're better people because we not only have known you, we've had the luxury of working with you and seeing your character in action, and I think we're all better for it. What am I gonna miss about Ken Bell? <laughs> really not that much. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been living under his shadow for three and a half years. I mean, and pfft. it's been a pleasure uh, being in, in your arena as long as I have. And uh, whatever you do next after this, congratulations, good luck and um, best. Awesome. The last month, it's like, oh boy, 35 years working in television, 48 years, like whoop de doo that's just great. And watching your work ethic and your attitude has taught me more about this business than anything else. Kenny Bell, happy retirement, my friend. You have absolutely earned it. And I thank you for everything you've done for me. I, I'll never be able to repay you for all the advice and the guidance and the mentoring you provided to me all those many years ago, but I always will remember it. You know, everybody loves Ken Bell, you know? It's just, uh, he'll be out of my way and then I can take over and the new regime comes in and I'm gonna do some office redecorating. I'll never forget working New Year's Eve and no one wants to work a holiday, but you do it, you get through it together and you just had such pep the whole night and then right at the end of the show, you pull out a box with noise blowers and streamers and we had little hats and we were just we were just going to town and it was such a great surprise you know just spice the place up a little bit maybe put some like hippie beads you know to the entrance of the sports office come into my lair you know who the hell stays 35 years whoa, whoa, whoa. The same place? this is a ken bell thing let's uh replace the word hell oh, geez. how about what the heck we, you know what sherry heard him say crap once i've heard him say nuts a lot I think he said crap once. I want to see Ken Bell as a little league coach. Okay, Grandpa Bell over there, okay? All right, and Grandpa Bell will be leading the kids running around the bases. When they're doing sprints in the outfield, Grandpa Bell will be taking them along. Come on, troops, let's go. Maybe some leather-bound books, you know, some new shelves smelling of rich mahogany, you know, the real classy stuff because I'm just a classy kind of guy. He always makes you feel so good about yourself, even if you think that you've done, I'm going to cry a little bit, but... Even if you think that you did an awful job that day, he always gave you the push to do better and to just feel great about yourself. I learned as much about life from you as I did about sports or broadcasting, and for that, I am eternally grateful. I've always seen you as a mentor, not only professionally, but personally to all those who have been around you and myself. Hey, Ken, don't take the camera anywhere. You don't need it any longer. Enjoy the events, enjoy the stories, but you don't have to tell them all anymore. We know you're going to do some great things uh, in retirement. Anytime you go out to shoot a game, parents and the athletes, they're going to cherish it forever. Moving forward, I'm always going to think of Ken when I'm out there uh, doing any of the local sports and, and even moving on for, for the news coverage that I do, whether here or anywhere. From the moment I met you, you just immediately put everybody at ease and make everybody feel comfortable, and that's such an amazing quality that you have. I think, though, the thing I admire most about him is he is a great man of faith. And, and he's ageless. Yeah. You know, I want to know what makeup he's using because <laughs> he doesn't change. So look at this man. He does not change. Kenny, you look terrific. And uh, Ken for president, right? <laughs> uh, you're truly the nicest man I've ever met in television, and uh, you're gonna be missed when you leave. The days, they've gone by quickly, and through it all, you have been one of the classiest gentlemen that I've ever had the pleasure to know, and a true pro's pro in television news. Uh, since the first day I started working here, though I only was able to work with you for about a year and a half, you've been a class act since day one. I really appreciate that. You've made things very easy for me in the transition, moving to Providence and working here at ABC6. Hey, Ken, it's Yanni Krakis over at Channel 12. I've been watching you my entire adult life, 
as a normal viewer, as an intern of yours, and now as a colleague, and I've always admired your dedication and hard work to local sports in the state of Rhode Island. But my good memories from those days are table talk pies with Ken in the wee hours of the morning. From getting stuck behind that limousine on the New York City interstate, where we thought we were gonna blow our, uh, our, our feed spot with News One in Manhattan. Thank you so much for everything that you have given to the team and you've given to me as a new member of this team. Uh, the only thing that I find unfortunate is I've only had a year to work with you and learn from you, but in that time I have learned so much, whether it be your passion for the job or your compassion for the people involved in all of your stories. Happy retirement, Ken. I just got one thing to say. Go get them. Enjoy your retirement, enjoy hiking. Jealous that you get to be outside so much, and we'll see you again soon. Sure, the sports locker was Ken's thing, but nah, that time has come and gone. We're cleaning out the locker, okay? It's Nick 6 at 6 on 6. That's right. It's all about Coit. It's been a pleasure working with you. Congrats on 35 years, and have a happy retirement. Hope you uh, do some great hiking, and uh, we're going to miss you, and uh, Rhode Island and Southern New England's going to miss you tremendously. Thank you on behalf of Friartown. Uh, we appreciate everything you did for us and your coverage of the team. Uh, you're a really great guy, and uh, we will miss you. Good for you. I hope you enjoy your time uh, at home and time away from the grind. Take care. I wish you long, long long hikes up into the Colorado mountains and keep on smiling into retirement. Thank you for covering us from high school to college to Providence College. You're a great ambassador for Channel 6 and we thank you for everything you've ever done for us. I'm really going to miss him and happy retirement, Ken. Ken, in the past 35 years we've seen many people come and go at Channel 6 and you're one of the finest people to walk through the doors. Enjoy your retirement. Ken, you're going to be missed so much, even in the short time that I've worked with you. I have been so impressed with your work ethic and just your optimism and personality. I know I'll miss seeing you around the newsroom, and of course, you're welcome back anytime. It's just you always say hi to everyone, always smile, always say good job, and I'm definitely really going to miss it. Wishing you all the best. Um, the mold has been broken. Ken, all the best to you. You're a great guy. It's an honor to have worked with you. He was at every hometown sporting event and that's what people remember and that's why they love Ken Bell. Anytime you would come out to the basketball game or the football field, the kids would all of a sudden be on the bench and they'd perk up and they'd say, oh, Ken Bell's here, we got to do something awesome so that he puts us on the highlights tonight. And you always handled those stories with such passion and enthusiasm and you made the kids feel like rock stars. So pick six has been a big thing with under Ken's regime under the old regime. You sure, the high school football thing. Uh, is that yeah, no, that name's changing. Really? What yeah, no, we're going to call it Nick Six. So what's yeah, no, it's all about me now. It's with very mixed emotions that we say goodbye to Ken. Uh, the good news is, is that we're going to be leaning on Ken here and there as, as we move forward, helping fill in, it, fill in when we have special events like the Patriots in the Super Bowl. It's all about me. No, this is, this is my layer now. This is my territory. This is, this is where Nick Coit works now. We're not saying goodbye to you, Ken, and we certainly hope to see you uh, more than you probably want to see us. Mm -mm. This is Nick Coit's time now. He's going to shine. Look out, look out. I'm going to tell you something that no one's ever heard before, and I think it needs to come out. It was 1986. The Red Sox were in the World Series in New York. I was sent down assigned with Ken to go down and cover the World Series. And Ken got us down as he always does. He gets us close to the field. It was a tense game. He gets us down into the ball, into the, into the bullpen. I said, uh, Ken, I don't think we should be down here. He says, ah, don't worry about a cool. I, I know a guy. I know a guy. Every, everything. He knows a guy. He knows a guy. Things started looking bad. Drive, it'll be a base hit to left field. Ken was just so fixated. He was so fixated at first base. I said, Ken, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I, I, gotta, I gotta say something. I said, Ken, what are you gonna do? He yells out, a Buckner! Buckner, your shoes are untied! I said, what the f I said, what? Ken, you can't do that. When the word, this is like, we'll say, hold on. He said, hold on, I just, I don't, he says to me, I don't want anything to happen. I want everything to go right. He yells out again, Buckner, your shoes are untied! I said, Ken, Ken, go sit down, sit down. 
He, the guy doesn't shut up. Fuck no! Nah! Your shoes are untied! I grab my camera. I get my 250 camera, my Panasonic A40. I zoom all the way in. I'm watching through my viewfinder and I see Buckner leaning down. He starts tying his shoe. Sure enough, same time. Whack! Crack in the back! Ball's dribbling down for his face. It goes right under his glove. I look to Ken. And Ken's biting his fingers. He's like, what did I do? What did I do? So now you know. Ken, all kidding aside, and believe me, those were all jokes, Kenny. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better three and a half years working with the most kind, humble, hardest working, um, just the, the best partner I could have had at ABC6, the best mentor, and, and such a great friend. And I, I really look forward to, to being your friend in retirement, too. Uh, and not having to run around and be mad and crazy and, you know, work on deadlines. Um, but really, I, I've learned so much from you, Ken. Uh, it has been such a, such a true honor and a privilege to work with you. I love you, my friend. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. It's simple. It's easy. I may have never said this to a non-relative male before in my life. <laughs> Ken Bell, I love you, okay? I love you, you're the best person I know, you made me a better person. Thank you, thank you for being there always and forever. I love you, have a great retirement. Let's spend some time together. You're absolutely the best person that I know. I'm not lying, I'm sometimes too honest, people will say, and it's 100% honesty, you're literally the best person I know. I don't know how you do it, but thank God you did because you made an impact on my life. Thank you. Love you, buddy.